Hey guys, welcome back. So today is my September favorites. I have some pretty magical items this month, so I'm going to jump right in and get started, and I hope you enjoy this video. So the first thing I want to start with is hair care. I have been a Kerastase user for over eight years. I swear by the line. I think it's just magic, and this new line of products is nothing less than amazing. So I want to share with you what they are. It is the new Kerastase Discipline, and it's been... Fluista or Bane something fluid. It's like their fluid line. I can't pronounce it. It's in French. So I have three products here that do wonders for frizz, smooth, soft hair, absolute wonders, the best I have used to date. So this is their shampoo. It also comes with a salt feet free shampoo if you like salt feet free. So that is the first thing. It smells really nice. It's very lightweight. It lathers really nicely. I also opted for the conditioner this time and not the mask only because I have three other masks that I use from Kerastase and I kind of rotate them. And so I thought I would use this throughout my hair and then just put a mask on my ends because my ends sometimes seem to be a little bit more drier than like oily. I think everybody's ends are, but mine just seemed to be extra f fried and dried, basically. So that's what I got here. And then the very last product, and this is basically the magic behind the whole thing, is the spray. You spray this on when your hair is wet. I feel like it cuts my blow dry time in half. Your hair is so soft and smooth right after you blow dry. You don't have a cotton headed ninny muggins. You don't have like frizz or frayed looking hair. It's so beautiful. So I know for me and my experience being a blonde, I feel like blondes usually have more frizz because you pull pigment out when you're dyeing your hair versus like enriching it with like really dark luxurious pigments. So I feel like if you are blonde and you suffer from really frizzy dried hair, try this and they're expensive they're like 40 bucks a piece but so if you don't want to like invest in the whole product and all of them try this guy because i think that this really makes a one a difference i just like to use the whole thing i'm kind of a sucker that way where i feel like i have to get the entire line in order for it to work which i know that's not the case i just am a sucker so especially for care stuff so i absolutely love these three products and I just swear by them. The look that I've been wearing, I've not been so obsessed with a look and worn a look as much as I have with this one. I did a MAC video on it. I will put the link below, but it's basically the entire look that I'm wearing today I, I did in a video. So if you want to watch that, I'll link it below. And I'm not saying that I'm like this fabulous makeup artist and I come up with all these things. It's just um, a look that my friend did on me and I just love how versatile it is and how I feel like it will work on a variety of skin tones. The first being Carefree. This is such a beautiful highlight and lid shade. It's a very, very close dupe, if not the exact same, as NARS's Albatross. It has a really pretty gold sheen to it. I used it as a highlight today, like I did in the video, and I used it mixing it in with Naked Lunch, which makes the perfect glowy, beachy, lid color because I went to her and I'm like I really want this beachy glowy look so she mixed this with Naked Lunch and then I added Wood Winked and the Outer V I think she used bronze but I love the way that these look with Wood Winked because I don't know that those colors just look really good together Wood Winked looks like it's just a beautiful bronzy warm shade that I'm sorry but every time I see somebody do a tutorial with a shade or I see it on them I just like I do a double take because it's just it goes with everything and oh it I just freaking love it. it it's stunning so definitely check that out I'll put the links to those below to the very left so the next thing that I've been loving are lips and this lip combination I have worn all month and you probably see it in my down bar when I notate what I'm wearing, but it is the NARS Fantasia Lip Liner. This is pretty much the perfect nude lip liner to go with any look. You can even wear it with brighter colors that are kind of along the same lines as this shade and it matches perfectly. So I absolutely love this shade and I loved pairing it with Angel. Um, it's Angel's just been one of the ones that I've been wearing constantly this week. I've been mixing it in with other colors and I mean, I think everybody has angels, so it's really nothing new, but it just is something that I've been wearing 
every day, so I just wanted to include um, it. Th let's move on to bases because these two I have worn together and I've worn separately, and it's literally just been alternating these two primers. So the first is the Charlotte Tilbury um, Wonder Glow. <laughs> every time I say Tilbury, I think of Lola, or I think of uh, Laura, she calls it Tilsbury, and I always kind of catch myself when I'm saying Tilbury. I kind of want to say Tilsbury now because I've heard her say it so much. So the Wonder Glow, an absolutely beautiful primer. This, out of the two other products I'm going to talk about shortly, are the three that I've just been blown away by in her collection, and this is one of them. It's such a stunning golden shade, but what I love is that it like covers. So when I'm applying it on my face, I feel my rough texture and my pores erasing, but it gives a beautiful glow. And if you're oily skin and you don't want to glow, you need to try this Tarte Primer, which is the Clean Slate Timeless smoothing primer base just amazing sometimes if i just wanted to mix the two i'll use the wonder glow on like the outer per perimeters of my face and then i'll use this in my t-zone just right here like where my pores are most noticeable on my rough texture i absolutely love it i think both of these primers are must-haves i really do and i've been so impressed with them this month i just I Next product in the Charlotte Tilbury line is the Feline Flick. I was very on the fence about this product for a while. I thought that it wasn't anything special at, like compared to other felt tip liners like this. But the more I used it, the more I fell in love. And this is why. I feel like the head of it or where the applicator is, it's a very stiff brush. So it's a lot easier to control and the mistakes are minimal. So I just wore this yesterday to work and I felt like it just created such an easy flick and such an easy line. I don't know, I just, I really was impressed with this just because of the, I loved how firm the brush was. So check this out if you are eyeliner challenged. I think you might really, really like this. And I don't think it's that too expensive. And the other freaking product that I love so much is the Film Star Bronze and Glow. I've been wearing this constantly. I just, I love mixing these two for a really nice highlighted bronzy glow or you could just use them separately. I think that the bronzer is very pretty. I feel like it would work on maybe light to medium skin tones, maybe more towards light. And then this highlighter is just a very pretty gold shade. You might think that it's not that special, but it's such, it is so finely milled and so creamy that it at, almost acts as a cream. So that's why I like these two products. And I'm telling you the bronze does have a shimmer to it. I wouldn't say a shimmer, I would say a sheen, but it's just adds a really pretty glow to the face. And I, this is a must have. I, these three products I feel have just blown me away. If you wanted to try anything from her line, these are the three that I would think that you would want to try, in my opinion. Simply amazing. So the first one is the Becca Beach Tint in Fig and Opal. If you don't own it, you need to because it is the prettiest nudie glow color. Uh, that's all I really can say about it. There isn't any glitter. It glides on. I'm wearing it today as a highlight and mixed in with my blush. It's so pretty and it's this is the one that I probably love the most out of all of them, I would have to say, is this one. The next one is, I have never talked about this product. This is something that my friend Teresa sent me, and I, I'm kicking myself because I have no idea why I didn't get it sooner. I think I thought that it was a very bright orange blush uh, by the name of it, and it is called Tangerine. It is so, it is the prettiest peachy blush color. Very, I don't know, it's almost has some brown undertones to make it very wearable. I know that doesn't sound like it would be wearable, but it is because it's not like a bright peach. It's more of a subtle peach with a little bit of coolness to it. So it's a very, very pretty color. If you love Burberry, you know that their products are just really good quality. The packaging I love, but not only that, I just feel like their eyeshadows and their blushes just go on with ease. So this is one that I've been really enjoying. So I'm so happy that she sent that to me because I it just is the love it. First Aid Eye Duty Triple Remedy Eye Cream and Corrector. It has a very cool toned applicator. So when you apply the 
the cream it just really cools and soothes the eye it helps with darkness um, immediately helps with darkness and like the blue and purple tones in your eyes but also over time I guess helps with fine lines and smooths and brightens doesn't sting my eyes it's very safe for sensitive skin but what I really love about this product is when I put it on it immediately brightens my eye area and that's what we all need I mean I got like less than five hours of sleep last night and today this was just amazing I really on my list product. is from Guerlain this is the Les Favs number 14 eyeshadow quad I put this in my fall favorites absolutely to die for if you have blue eyes it just really brings out your eye color all of the shades in here are super Even if pigmented you have brown and creamy. eyes um, some of the girls at work wear this and they have brown eyes and I'm always like what are you wearing on your eyes it's usually this quad and something else I just absolutely love this I think that I don't know if I think if you have light eyes it's almost a must-have because I've been seriously wearing it more than ever and it's one of those where you think that you can't wear all the shades together, but you totally can, and it's so worth the money. This from Stella and The Dot. Pave Chevron Necklace. It's basically three necklaces in one. I'll do a close-up of it here. But I wore this to church on Sunday, and I had two women go, I need that. I need that right now. Because it's just such a simple, dainty necklace and I like the fact that you can wear all of these separately or you can wear them together and it basically goes with anything like I'm wearing it with a button down shirt today I wear it with t-shirts absolutely perfect one of my favorite pieces and that's what I wanted to end this video on today so if you guys have any questions thank you so much for all of your comments and for watching my videos I love you so much and I'll talk to you guys really soon bye